Welcome back. It's 924 Science with Sarah is on the road. And this morning, Sarah Spivey and David Sears are out at Lyndon B. Johnson Elementary. They're visiting with a first grade class over there and have a special Halloween experiment planned. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Hey, good, good morning. morning. Good morning. Ooh, that was kind of spooky. Oh, well, good morning. Yeah, well, spooky <laughs> well, today we're working with magnets and we're making ghosts that float. It's pretty awesome. There's a few things you need. You need jumbo popsicle sticks. You need ceramic magnets. You need electrical tape. You need fishing wire and paper clips as well as tissue paper, really light tissue paper. So the first thing we're gonna do, David, is we're gonna make a magnetic wand. Okay, Okay. so you need two popsicle sticks and then you need three magnets together. Popsicle sticks without the popsicle. Right. What's Jump. wrong with that? Craft sticks, I don't know. Okay, so Wait, you're gonna... <laughs> Okay, David, go. you're going to tape these two together okay. like I've done with a big, long piece of electrical Look tape. Right. Look, you've already done this a couple of times, well, haven't you? I've tried. All right, here we go, David. You're doing great. Put those together. There. Perfect. Tape Whoa. them together. That's your magnet wand. Magnet, magnet wand, wand party. Magnet all right. Wand party. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of clear fishing wire. We've done this in advance. You're going to make a loop and you're going to tape it down onto the table with electrical tape. Then you're going to take the okay. safety, no, it's a paper clip. Paper I clip. almost called a safety pin. You're gonna and you're going to attach it on, it on there and see if oh, your magnetic missed. wand works. You missed? Well, I missed. You got it? Well, you know. There you go, David. You got it. It's so Detailed there you go, man. All right. There you go. And we're going to test it out here. Look at there. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it picked them, oh, all, picked up. them all up. Wow. Okay, look okay. at that. So then. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of tissue paper. Okay. Now, what we do is we make it look like a little ghost. So you just stick your thumb right there, like that. And now it kind of looks like a little ghost. You see that? Great. Okay. Mm, so, scary. so now take. Your paper clip, okay. put it underneath the okay. ghost. Oh, underneath the ghost. Yep. And then use your magnetic wand. Okay, now try to make it float. There you go. There you go. <laughs> it's floating. It worked. Let me try. It worked. There you go, Dave. You got a ghost. Yeah, you can also do it like this. I'll show you where you can get it, and you can actually make it float by itself if you Let do it, it just right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Pretty cool. So these awesome kids here at Linda B. Johnson Elementary School, these first graders, they've already got their tissue paper. You guys got your magnetic wands. Yeah. Are you guys ready to make some ghosts? Yeah. All right, we'll do that after the break. everyone welcome back we're at Lyndon B Johnson Elementary School on the city's west side we have these awesome first graders here guys show us your ghost Ooh. show us what you've made cool okay now we're gonna try to make some of these floats so take your magic wand your magic magnetic wand and your paper clip like that that's good your paper clips down here Okay, we're going to get it on the wire, and we're going to try this. Let's see. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> what do you think? Pretty cool? I've always wanted to be on Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Let's check out David. David, how's it going over there? Great. Look at we got close, float. Okay. Good job, like that. Yeah, we're going to do something special on this one. Oh, we're going to make a smiley face on this make one. A, a ghosty smiley face. Ready? That was a ghost smile. How about that? That was like a, go a happy ghost? We've got a happy ghost going. You want a happy ghost? All right, here we go. We're making happy ghosts. Okay, we'll make a ghost thing. There you go. All right, now float it. Put it on your, put it on your magnet. What do you think? Yeah, I can help you. So when you're doing this with your students, something to keep in mind is that depending on how many magnets you have in your wand, that's how strong this is going to be. Now pull it up just real gentle. Pull it up real, ah, oh, see so you had it. That was it. It was floating. 
Yeah, you try it. Okay, we're going to put, the, put this underneath there. Now hold it now. now. Let it go. Here, use my magic wand. This is a great example of magnetism. And your students may have a difficulty finding the paper clip under here. Hold your wand. And all they have to do is make them attach. Just like that. Wow, got a floaty Good ghost. Good job. Got a floaty ghost. So here's the thing. May I have my magic wand back? Thank you. Here's the thing. If you're having a very difficult time with the fishing wire, guys, what I want you to do is I want you just to put your paper clip down on the table here. Put this guy over here and just make it float like this. Watch, you ready? All right, hands up. Hands up. Whoa. What do you think about that? So cool. <laughs> awesome, guys. Alrighty, first graders. I want you to listen to me. Let's make our spookiest ghost noise we ever can. Are you ready? Yeah. On the count of three. One, two, three. Ooh, and look at your ghost floating. So this is awesome. David, you're a great assistant. Thank you for that. You're awesome. And if you want to do this at home with your students, there's going to be a, a complete example of how to do this with materials, even some helpful links to get the materials at home. First graders, thank you so much for being spookily good at science today. All righty, we'll go back to you guys. This is Science with Sarah on the West Side. Thanks, y'all. <laughs>